Okay, here we are for a lava lamp update. So this is, it's about, if you can see the, I don't know if you, you know, you can't see the temperatures on the two weather stations I have. The I focused and you might be able to see it a little better. Uh, no, you can't. Oh, well, whatever. So, so it's 34 degrees outside. The other one says 33, very close. So you know that it's pretty accurate considering. And then you got the lava lamp. So you're going to say, why are they not all flowing? Well, this is because under certain circumstances in my collection, this is also a collection update and to learn a few things. Um, so depending on the temperatures, that can gratefully affect the flow of the lava lamp. For instance, this one frequently doesn't, but that's not always true because certain lava lamps always turn on regardless of what the weather is or what's going on. This one doesn't turn on a lot. This one doesn't turn a lot a lot. This one doesn't turn a lot a lot. That's only never turned on maybe once. That's really that's a real lava lamp. That's the alien lava lamp. Not the one that's on right now, the one before that. It was a couple of hundred dollars on eBay. It was it was a really nice lava lamp though, but it's starting to wear out. Here comes the dog. <laughs> He's always welcomed. Uh and um it's just gonna move a little bit. Okay. You can stay here with me. So, um, and what else can I say? Then we've got this lava lamp, which is the ocean breeze. You know, I used to have to fool around with that and make it, that doesn't sound right, to make it go, but now it goes on its own. And, um, this one's the most worn out one I have. It sticks to the glass a lot. That's when you know a lava lamp is pretty much finished, but, um, it's going to be a long time. It still flows a little, though. Over two years I've had this thing, and it still flows. That is a huge thumbs up, because how most lava lamps won't even last that long. They'll just get stuck when something else happens. Um, let me start over again, because I don't I want to make sure I get it right. We've got the gold, gold lamp. Likes to lock up a lot. We've got the white lamp. Likes to um, lock up sometimes. The, um, the pink one's locked up right now. This is my trick. You just throw it forward a little for a few seconds and then throw it back a little. That usually lets it flow again. But like I said, you shouldn't have to do that. It should be perfect. Um, and um, you've got the an alien lava lamp, which functions all the time. There's another one that was called alien abduction at one time from Spencer's. I have no idea what happened to that. And then... Um, I wanted to buy that one too. It looked really awesome. Then you got the ocean um ocean floor lamp, which is really nice. Looks wonderful. Um, then you got the oh, I don't even know. This does this one doesn't even have a regular great name or anything. I think it's called blue and white lava lamp or something like that. When you go on their website, nothing special about it. Then you got the shock lava lamp, which was red. And then the black wax and um, artist. Oh, what this one was called. It's been so long. It's out of space. Now, yeah, this so one was called out of space. It's called Planet Lava Lamp or whatever the hell it's called. I don't remember what that one's called uh, by name. Then we finally have the worst lava lamp ever. And I went through a lot of shit to try to buy them. Was this. The Harry Potter Slytherin Lava Lamp. The first one I purchased was at a Newberry... Not Newberry Times. At a Spencer's. Um, a Spencer's store and it was I don't know maybe three years ago or something and I, I liked it it was really nice when the, the sad part is it doesn't look like this when you first turn it on for the first time it actually looks real silver like Slytherin like it's supposed to look now it's all burnt like brown and tan and stuff that's not the Slytherin colors we all know that if you watched Harry Potter before um I have a Gryffindor over there somewhere <laughs> he wants to I have a Gryffindor somewhere, and um, yeah, it's over there. I, I drained it out because it would stop flowing. I, to try to, to, I tried to fix it, which was dumb. Um, because then you ruin the whole lava lamp doing that. But um, what happened was, is that it just, it got cloudy. And I, I followed all the steps. Yes, I followed all the steps with um, my, um, with the online and everything to tell me what to do and no matter what I did um, it wouldn't the clouds wouldn't go away and I was like this looks like real bad like some of these are a little cloudy like this lava lamp is the um, shock lava lamp is a little cloudy but you know what um 
it's really not a big deal. It's not. It's really not a big deal because um, I can still see the lava. But you, whatever, you know what I'm saying. This one, the, the Slytherin one, I'm thinking, what, once the bulb blows out, it takes a special bulb. I'll go. I'll talk about that now. The Slytherin takes a special bulb compared to all the others. And uh, I have one more that's in the drawer over there. Once I'm done with that bulb, I don't think I'm going to turn this thing on ever again. I have another lava lamp that's a Slytherin over here. And um, I was thinking maybe I could try to turn that on again tonight and see if it does something since I left it alone for a long time. I don't think it's going to do anything though. Um, they're also, these are all on a timer too. Um, and what I mean by a timer is, is at a certain time, you know, when it becomes dark, they all just turn on and when, um, and when the, they don't go off when it gets light out. I mean, you know how long that would, that would be over nine hours leaving these things on. If I go to sleep and I forget about these, these will turn off by at least about 2 a.m. or something. I usually tune them, turn them off myself about 1, 1.30, but if um, I miss it, it'll turn itself off. Um, I don't want them to stay on all night. So let's say, how many hours were they on tonight? Um, uh, yeah, four, five, maybe seven, seven and a half, maybe eight. I don't go over that. They say not to go over eight hours a day. If you do any more than that, you could damage your lamp, but a lot of lamps, I guess, but... I wouldn't know because I don't leave them on excessively like other people do. All right, so I think it was a 35 watt. Um, ugh, I don't even remember the wattage, but all these over here take the same lamp, um, watts and then the smaller bulbs will go in that. Um, if you go to Spencer's, they'll sell them right at the store. They're actually pretty affordable. The bulbs are really cheap. Um, You'd be surprised at what the prices they're asking. They're actually more, very reasonable. Um, it's to the point where you really can't beat the deal anywhere else. Why the hell would you want to buy somewhere else when you can just go down the street and get it right away? Instant gratification. That's one thing I like. I don't like waiting for a bulb. Say this blew out. I won't want to wait days to get another one. I mean, that's bullshit. I would want it right away. I do have four extra bulbs for the ones over here. Four. And Archie's just trying to crowd me. To, um, cause I have four, uh, at least four extra bulbs for over here. And I think about four or five for the smaller ones too. So I'm doing pretty good with that. Yeah, I haven't done a lot of lamp collection update in a while. But I gotta say, not many people talk about this online. No one really collects lava lamps anymore. I don't know why. Look at how soothing it is to see them flow and all that. And of course, I almost try this again. Sometimes you have to do it a couple of times. This is something that really pisses me off because I shouldn't have to do this. Oh shit. You gotta well, you shouldn't do it like the way I'm doing either. You should hold both sides so the glass doesn't fall out. But sometimes it's too it's too hot on the bottom so you can't do that. Um then you have to you know you're also gonna be worried about well what about um if for instance, like, won't this blow a fuse or could it start a fire? No, I, I separated all I could, everything from the back, so the wires are all pointing this way, so nothing could, no wire is going to get caught on another lava lamp. And is it too unsafe to keep them so close together? Well, I haven't had a problem, and it's been about a year now, so I don't think there's any issue. So, um, if you want to get a lava lamp, go to Spencer's. They're literally the only store you can go to in person to buy them. There's plenty of places you can buy them online. But I think these are the best. These are all Spencer's. Yeah, all of them. Except for the I mean, even the Slytherin one came from Spencer's. There's not one of them that I haven't got received from another store. You can't buy them anywhere else. And if you live in Canada, you're shit out of luck. Because um, according to what I understand, they won't ship to Canada. For some reason, there must be some kind of law um, with chemicals or something, but these aren't any deadly products, so I don't see why Canada wouldn't um, accept them. All right, well, it's 33 degrees on both sides and it's 73 degrees in the house, so um, that could that could be another reason why, um, whatever. The lava lamps are flowing though, see? They like they want to flow now, but they didn't want to flow before. Um, isn't it funny though, my oldest lava lamp is the one that turns on all the time. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.